Hello, I'm B. Mills-Above, and welcome to my channel. I'm of the opinion that doubts can be a good thing, at least when it comes to the things we believe in. If we believe something, then it should be able to stand up to scrutiny. If it doesn't, then we should amend what we believe in favor of something that does conform with reality. If only just a little bit. Probably somewhat less of a good thing is if doubt causes you to completely stagnate in life and not move forward. Much like skepticism, I think doubt should be applied appropriately. But that's another video that you can find linked below. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about some doubts that theists have in their beliefs, whether they realize it or not. And if you ask me, Of course, I am referring specifically to theists who say that they have faith in their god to keep bad things from happening to them, while still locking their doors at night. Funny enough, if not for the marquee on a local car insurance sales group where I live, I may never have come up with the idea for this video. But it does seem at least to be an idea counter to having faith that their god will protect them, doesn't it? I mean, if their god is all-powerful, as many claim, and it actively wants to keep their, its followers safe, it's well within that all-powerful god's ability, right? So why lock your doors at all? God will keep you safe if you believe, and no harm shall come to you, right? Whether it seems that way or not, the theist is doubting their God's ability to protect them. Don't get me wrong, absolutely do lock your doors at night. Lock your car when you go into the store and periodically check for your wallet to make sure no one has picked your pocket. These are all rational things to do in a society where some people have less than honorable intentions or motives. But it should be recognized that, in a way, you are doubting your God's ability to keep you safe. This should be seen as an opportunity to examine your doubts and shape your beliefs into something that better conforms re with reality if necessary. This is something that may not even remove your belief in the existence of a god. Perhaps you'll have a more deistic set of beliefs after your examination. Of course, to someone like me, the difference between a deistic god and no god is superficial at most, but that's not the topic of the day. In my opinion, I think it's safe to say that deistic belief would be more in conformity, I guess, with reality being a member of, than being a member of pretty much any organized religion. Well, you don't even have to believe in just one all-powerful god to be doubting by locking your doors at night. If you have a protector god in the pantheon of gods that you believe in, aren't you saying you don't actually believe it's capable of protecting you if you lock your doors? It's an interesting thing to think about. At least I think it is. My point behind all this is that doubts should be examined. This isn't an attack on anyone's belief. It's just me pointing out what I see as being inconsistencies in the belief. Even when I was still religious, I saw doubt as a good thing. It was an opportunity to either reject bad beliefs or to strengthen what I already believed. We all see how that turned out for me. I went from being a Catholic to an atheist in the span of a couple of years. Who knows, maybe your religious faith will be strengthened from it. Either way, embrace the doubt and give it a real chance. That'll do it for this one though. If you enjoyed the video or found it enlightening, please leave it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you feel so inclined to help me out, consider supporting me on Patreon where I have monthly patron-only live streams and $5 tier patrons have early access to all videos. Or consider getting me something from my Amazon wishlist. 
Every little bit helps, and every little bit is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, linked below, to keep up with all my comings and goings, and join my Discord for a chance to talk to yours truly. Take it easy, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one. 